Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Drop your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. This gem is a bit unusual because it's showing a six ray star and gemologists call this asterism. This phenomena really narrows down the possibilities, so let's start testing. We'll start with the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. Since this is a curved surface, we need to do a spot reading and it's hard to read, but it's around a 1.76 or so, which is exactly what we wanna see for natural and synthetic sapphire. The polariscope is not going to be helpful because this is an opaque gem, which means that light cannot pass through. Also, it's not UV reactive, which is what we want to see for a black star sapphire. But is this one natural or is it synthetic? Let's confirm with the microscope. First off, we can see a lovely silky sheen, uneven color zoning, and hematite needle inclusions. These are all check marks for a natural sapphire. And believe it or not, those inclusions are what's causing the star effect. When we add pinpoint lighting, the star magically appears. It's hard to see, but there are needle inclusions at not one, but three different angles. And this reflects light in a way that creates the star effect. Also notice how this star is soft and it doesn't reach all the way to the base of the gem. But in a synthetic star sapphire like this one, you tend to see very sharp rays easily reaching the base of the gem. Checking the base of our gem, this looks very natural and seems to even have another mineral over here. Lastly, we'll check the side just to make sure this is not a doublet and everything looks good here too. And that means this is a natural black star sapphire. So did you get this one right?